Not much left of Mount Zan nowadays. It's like a cross between a zoo and a prison break. Sounds like my kind of mountain. Because I'm a man with discerning tastes in mountains. Can't rightly call Mount Zan a mountain anymore. Well, shit. I guess it's because it's made out of flying. There's no more mountains stuff. now. There's no place left for the beasts of the wild to go. So they figure they'll hold out right here, on a slab of mountain the Calamity forgot. If it wasn't obvious, I just used my special. I think I like that special. Good thing for those beasts the Calamity saved leftovers. We only found their little lair because they found themselves a little shard. Alright, it's really annoying the killing wild. these without the flame bellows. That's a, that's a funny, funny thing. I like the animation those have when they die. Just sort of just spin out. Like, bad day Mario Kart. Oh yeah, the, the depth perception here is a little off, I think. Not game breaking, but disorienting to say the least. Okay, the car line's not that bad, I guess it does damage. I love it when weapons Best do damage. Best thing we can do for those beasts right now is put them down. Okay, I argue them. that plants aren't beasts, but okay. Justify however you want. Besides, we have also, to take back Also, this is the fantastic ours. thing that takes out everything that I was mentioning. Even if the beasts of the wilds won't like it. It just does so much damage. I think it's supposed to symbolize you becoming a worse or more violent person as the game goes on. Uh, that gets a little less subtle, Look subtle with way. the next weapon. It's either them but or us. It's but just so win, good. They win too. Look at that! These assholes Our think they can snipe me. Oh, well. game, not just ours. Yay! Takes a lot of convincing, and our mortars have to do you know, the talking. They weren't actually a good unit. But I was always a fan of the Mortar team in uh, Team Fortress 2. That's all. I, I have no follow-up. I guess the one problem with this is it's a bit slow to reload. Those beasts but it is a mortar. Fixing up the place. That's actually a pretty impressive treehouse considering it was made by animate plants. Yeah, I'm really impressed. They've rounded up their survivors just like we have. But there's four of us and spawning amounts of them. I really should use my special core. They've been searching core. for cores and shards, just like we have. I guess you're supposed to feel bad here because the enemies that are terrible and annoying can't damage you and you have a sniping. I didn't even really think about that the first time through. I was just like, her, her, her. Serves me right. thought about turning back, just like we have. Oh, is this the fun part? We just really need their shard. Kid got it yep. fair and square. Yeah, I've seen some porn that started this way. Um, luckily, now you have a much, much, much more efficient way of doing damage than you did in the last level with them. What was I trying to fight with? Like, the machete and good, good intentions. They're doing different stuff than they were last time, I think. Yeah, they're shooting up instead of out, but... The presence of the mortar makes it a lot easier. And I just realized you don't even have to fight them. They're just good for money and experience. Either way, they're not really a big problem with the mortar. And with my five chances That's to instantly heal myself infinitely healed, but heal as much as I was damaged. Alright, that, that was a pretty good level. I was shorter than I remembered it being. Um... Uh, that was the trick. <laughs> that was the trick. He's done what's best for him, don't you worry. Don't you worry. Yeah, so that was just... I didn't even think about that. That was just supposed to make you feel bad about yourself. We'll all be better off once the bastion is complete. Hello? I don't remember my whole box. The monument's getting better. 
Zolf sure did a number on it, though. Alright, I think... I wonder what this gives you. The arsenal's complete, in case we need protection. Alright, I know what it gives you. This one's actually a pretty good one. Use it for the sake of using it. Um... I guess I'll go back to the fire bellows. Well, if you can't burn good. it, you can always blow it to mother on high, right? And I do not have anything foul. So if those notches haven't clued you in, there's only one weapon left, and it's the big one. Won't go in any further than that, but... Oh, this is good. Something fell... No, I've read all those before. <laughs> Nothing new here. Sorry about that. Oh, I forgot that. That's a shame. That's what I get for going through the level too fast. Oh, this is a really fun skill, but I'm going to show the other one, and then I'm going to have more money to play with Fix it. Fix that thing right up, didn't we? Made these goings on a little livelier. Alright, so we're, we're starting to have a regular home here again. I mean, everything's a little drearier since the monument got beat up, but got a good old pile. I suppose it's true a little song can put things in perspective. Wait, doesn't it go somewhere? Why am I not seeing it? Am I missing something obvious? I'm going to just assume I am. Can I upgrade this again? I like Without fuel generation. Without an insulated air intake. That thing's liable to blow up on you. Alright, so I've not been able to do this without the thing fully upgraded, but this one's pretty simple. Boundless Bay used to be a weapons test and dry dog. Ain't never been this dry, though. This one's fun, quick, and pretty easy to get a good score even without upgrades, so I'm Sir gonna Lange's try it. Armada was a glorious sight. And our ship's mortars were but suffice to say, At the upgrades Bay, make this our Navy put those a lot easier inspection. when some of the others only make it the simulate explosive a little easier. Impact on the surface of the sea. Choosing targets with those mortars was one of the trickiest <laughs> parts. Galleon skippers needed to be patient, needed to fire at just the right times. You need 80 some, I want to say. Get five shots to kill as many as you can. Sounds like the kid's mortars in tip-top shape. How many do I need for first 80? Yeah, I mean, later you get things that just increase its blast radius and make it so much easier. I'm not going to worry about that right now. Too bad about the armada, but at least one of those mortars survived. I could have sworn the gramophone stayed somewhere on the bastion. Now I'm embarrassed. Just a couple shards left. The quarry's gotta have one, right? Why wouldn't it? The secret to how we built Ceylandia so tall and proud lies in Burstone Quarry. Yeah, things start getting a little weird here because this game's been pretty traditional and lowbrow story other Imagine than Imagine everything you need to build a city like Ceylandia. It takes hard work and planning. People made out of also rocks. It takes burstone quarry. That's what you need. The Ura tunnels beneath the quarry must have softened the blow from the calamity. We bought the whole place well, from the Ura on the cheap. Same goes for its natives. Rattle tales. Yeah, so these are just Final Fantasy. I'm not sure why they're in this game. Why would the but they die to passes. that, like everything else. And that's a friend I don't want to hurt it. It's gonna kill turrets for me. Even though I don't really have a problem with Rattle turrets anymore. Rattletails ain't the worst of it either, but more about that in a little bit. The quarry came with a lifetime supply of windbags. Okay. Windbags smaller than the naked eye can see are nesting in those rocks. Yeah, so I am pretty sure they're just supposed to be like ghost wind elementals because of this. That's what I thought, but the fact they come in boxes still confuses me. I I don't know. 
not only I think it's Ron supposed to be up two, but up top of the oldest ones. Remember me a little bit when it's not hilarious. Stupid mushrooms. They're recording everything all the time. Take it all in. Yeah, so the music gets dramatic here, and that's pretty important, I guess, but it's also a little confusing. So they're like ancient sticks of hockey or something? No wonder uh, all uh, those beasts were drawn to the quarry. The rocks were calling them. Well, what were they calling them? Keeping the quarry free from piss turned out to be a problem. That sounded a lot like free from piss. I'm just gonna put that out there. Okay, I really don't care about Rattletails, and I really don't care about this level very much because the game is about to get exciting and plot heavy, and I'm presumably going to ignore that to do extra stuff and get more money. Without those windbags, the quarry might not have its special qualities. I don't know. This level even stink eyes always a little labyrinthesque and disoriented me. Not one of my favorites. Yeah, I think honestly the game probably did peak around that mountain for how much I like the levels, just because they're getting sort of hard now. I wonder if I can kill them because that does friendly fire. Uh, now why would the Lura sell off such a fascinating place? The Lura always were superstitious. Oh right, mind. it is cursed. Whoops. Might be the gods told him the quarry is bad news. So this isn't related to anything, but I do think it's somewhat amusing that um, they refer to believing in gods map, as superstitious and possibly mole people. Those are the blowing up ones, not the healing Might ones. Be the quarry no just got too much sunshine for their liking. Yeah, so what, we, what do we know about the Ruro right now? They're anime, but everything in this game is anime, so that doesn't make a difference. Uh, they're goths, and they're religious. That's like a prize-winning combo already. Um, meanwhile, your white-haired protagonist race. It's actually rocks, funny, every character of the Ceylondians does have white hair, but that's just because one of them is old and the other is an anime. But basically, yeah, Ceylondia is the race of the anime, and um, Ura is the race of the more different anime. Nothing wrong with that, mind you. If I haven't made it clear, I do the largest ones. like this you game a lot, cars. and I think its story is really good, and art style is really good. It's just, it's just they're anime. It's just, there's nothing to be ashamed of. Having white hair makes you an anime. That That's what I'm getting at. Is there like a bridge there? What What's the deal? What am I, what am I doing? The smaller ones. We call them shards. That's uh, a regular conflux to me. The shard's got a fraction of coarse power, enough to fuel a voyage to the motherland. Um... So if I'm quiet, I, I was just debating if it was a good idea to make more magic funds, and I decided it wasn't. That's all. Well, now the quarry's all dried up. These rocks are much too young to be a use. I feel like I'm missing important things, and I still Remember feel like I'm missing Remember how I said Rattletails ain't the worst thing in the quarry? That honor goes to a beast we took to Colin, Sir Lunky. Massive things stomp many of our boys. We just couldn't get rid of him. Oh, that's what the turret shot did. I was thinking of the something only else thing that might have been a new game plus. I didn't Big realize that was a special for the... So that's actually can. pretty cool. See, Lifeline saves me. Also, yeah, I really like the turret making. We never could get <laughs> stubborn old monkey to leave the water alone. Something then the kid hears a voice calling from down the hall. 
Are you all right? It says. That is not down the hall. I, I just noticed that. Whoops. Yeah, that hall. I can't roll it's anymore, him. so it's a, plot, it's a plot scene. I've come to warn you, he says. Dobby has come to warn you, sir. The Bastion is under siege. Let it fall. You should not go back. Kid hears him, but he ain't about to be deterred. That seems if that's sort the of... way it is, he says, then I won't stop you. Not going back slightly counterproductive to... Because my countrymen will. Eh. Zolf discovered the origins of the calamity after decoding... Something. Say what you will about Zolf, but he's a man of his word. His countrymen don't much care for pleasantries, though. Do they care for being set on that. fire? Because... Wait, oh, the Mercy was killing all the different enemy types, right? And then Zolf they specifically make it so you get it here. And here they came good pacing. To take revenge. Because I don't think there's a way They got inside the Bastion type. and shut the door. The kids gotta go in through the back. Meh. I should have told them sooner about all this. Unfortunately, they broke in. Oh, I missed the and they started big gear. digging their That's holes. Something smarty. wrong sprung out of those holes, and it's eaten away at this place. We tried to stop them, but we needed help. So this is probably the most dis disheartening part of the game for me. Just because I like dumb things and arbitrary completionism. Our baby Becker. He don't make it. No. Not the squirt. Oh. It is pretty pretty cool how you get Not all the little squirt. No. Oh. You don't make it. That's both times I've done this. Lost the pecker and the squirt. Somehow. Some there are way, cute ones. He sends those who are a packing. Problem is, it didn't matter. Zolf's plan worked. Yeah, squirts, gas fellows, and We find vegetables. each other as the dust settles. Then I tell him why the Ura came. To get us back. For the calamity. It was Ceylandia's master plan to wipe the Ura out. But part of that plan backfired, didn't it? If only Zolf knew the whole story. 